Mantis Wave, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. Although in Groot's case, he doesn't stand. So, I'll just give you a close-up of him. He's in a little suit. In a little suit. A zipper there. And you can see him. I don't recall him wearing that in the movie. But... I digress. Rocket. Pretty cool figure. Really small. He's probably only about half the size of a standard Legends, which is about right. I think his other figure was even bigger than this one, which is kind of weird. Comes with a couple of guns. Comes with this one. And he comes with this little pistol light thing. So. And then, uh, you can also pop his head off and swap it. This one, which is a more savage expression where he's laughing at you. Ha <laughs> ha, you suck. Um, but I think I will leave the, uh, more tame head sculpt on it. He's just kind of got a smirk crack. He's like, yeah, I'm cool. What you can do about it? Um, but articulation on this guy's head's on a ball joint, which you noticed already. Swivels. He's got a little bit of the tiniest bit of tilt and no real up and down to speak of. Uh, he does have a diaphragm joint. It's got a bit of a crunch to it, a bit of a lean, and it does rotate. Um, his arms can move out a little bit over a right angle to the body, so that's good. Rotate single hinge at the elbow as well as the swivel. His wrists rotate no hinge on those because they're really soft. I believe he's got a waist swell because he's got the diaphragm joint. Yeah, no. Uh, hips. You can do the splits about that far. I think that's better than Spider-Man. Kick out forward about that far. He's got a thigh cut and the hips. I was on a ball joint so you get a little bit of... Uh, Movement there. He's got a single joint at the knee. Moves 90 degrees and rotates. It's kind of redundant because you get the thigh cut, but oh well. And then his feet are also on a swivel. So he's got a decent amount of articulation. Uh, his tail also is on a hinge. will rotate all the way around. And will occasionally pop out. So, there you go. There it is, Rocket Raccoon. And uh, in terms of a size comparison, oh, he doesn't want to stand. Got to make sure his tail is out far enough so it's not going to knock him on his face. There we go. That should be good enough. Good enough. Here he is, next to the next figure we will be looking at, 
Gamora. As you can see, he goes up to about her knee, maybe. Her thigh area. She's slightly shorter. She is a female, after all. Females tend to be a little smaller. Some of the other characters. But uh, given his guns back, Bear with me, I'm just going to do this behind camera really quick. Uh, the way I have it is I have the pistol in his left hand and the kind of oozy looking thing in his other hand. Standard head is really stiff, which I like. There we go. So with that being said, I'm gonna give Rocket here a uh, seven out of ten, just because it's not really your money's worth. Uh, he's smaller than the other one. He poses better uh, than the other one. <laughs> And talking about the movie here, and then he comes with a Groot that doesn't stand, and the torso to Manus. Uh, the other one at least came with a big giant gun, which I think would have been cool here, maybe including that with him instead of Drax, or maybe the music box from the beginning of the movie would have been a little bit better, and he fell down. Anyways. <laughs> fall down, go boom. I looked away, that's why. There we go. But, uh, yeah, just not exactly your money's worth that, and he's a pain in the butt to stand. So he will be leaning on Groot, the big one, from Toys R Us, if anything. So, that being said, hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.